Hey everybody, welcome to North Roads Outdoors. This is the video blog. My name is Tory Rhodes and today I'm gonna to give you update number four on the 2011 flood here on the Mississippi River. I am on pool eight. Right now I'm coming to you from the 7th Street boat ramp, which is on the south side of La Crosse. And still you cannot get a boat in the water. You just can't back your vehicles in far enough to be able to get your boat to float up off the trailer, that's one of the things that's really frustrating when we've had some really nice weather lately. It's just tough to get on the water. Today's the uh, 13th of April, and on uh, Friday the 15th, we're supposed to have a crest on Pool 8 of 14 feet. And then it's supposed to stay steady and it won't start dropping until Monday. Let's go hit a few more boat ramps and just take a look at what we got going on. We'll check out the dam here as well, too. All right, here we're at the municipal landing. If you're not aware where this landing is, this is just uh, kind of behind the brewery, just south of downtown La Crosse. And water's looking fairly clear, but as I said, in a lot of areas you can't back your boat in far enough or back your vehicle in far enough. There's a dock way out there. You can't tie up unless you got hip waders to walk out to that thing. You can't pull your boat up on the concrete if you need to go park your vehicle. You almost have to have somebody with you and even if you do, sometimes that still isn't good enough to get a boat in the water. Here I am everybody. I have made my way to the Clinton Street boat ramp here in La Crosse on Pool 8. And as you can see right behind me, on the first flood update that we did, uh, Nate had his truck parked here in the parking lot right behind me. That area is now underwater. I mean, his truck wouldn't be underwater, but you can see that the water is completely coming up into the parking lot here at uh, Clinton Street and straight across where we kept showing you pictures of that pier, that thing is completely underwater now, submerged 100%. So this flood is really uh, taking a hold and it's just lasting a really long time. We've already had a few tournaments in this area that have been canceled because of the high water and bait shops. I really feel bad for these bait shop owners because I'm sure that tackle is not flying off the shelf like it usually is this time of year. People just aren't going in there because they can't get out fishing. So on Monday this water level is supposed to start dropping. Let's hope that happens quick so people can get back out here and enjoy this river and get outdoors. I'm sick of being stuck inside. I'm sure just like you, I'm going to head out to the dam, show you some pictures out there, and that'll take care of the blog here. I've made it to the dam here on Pool 8. Some really interesting stuff here. For one thing, I'm standing in the parking lot where we were able to park here a couple weeks ago. The steps right over here that we walked up and down, that's underwater now too. We've got some super dedicated guys out here on the wall that are fishing that railing that we showed you. They got hip waders on. And one of these guys out there, he actually gave me a report that he's got a couple of perch out there in his bucket. Uh, but uh, I'm not gonna be walking out there. I don't have any hip waders to go take a look or get some footage of what he's got going on. There's a few boats that have been able to get in out here at the dam, just, just north of the interstate bridge. If you've got a light boat, you can back in far enough to get that boat to float off the trailer. But anyway, the, the dam, the rollers are wide open still. That water is coming down. We got heavy, heavy current, and as you can see, a lot of water. So once again, your update on the 15th, we've got apparently the crest of 14 feet. It's supposed to hold steady all weekend long and then slowly start to drop next week. That is your blog. Flood number four update, North Roads Outdoors, I am out.